I'm Dana and I thought it'd be really fun to go through my journals from high school like this is over 10 years old now this starts in 2012 however I forgot exactly how horrendously depressed and not having a fun time I was as a teenager so this actually might not be that fun I've only flicked through these and I'm gonna slap a great big massive trigger warning on this and close my window like, I remembered being a depressed teenager, but I didn't fully register, like, how much that consumed my every fucking waking moment. So, massive trigger warning, because there's gonna be... Uh, bear in mind, I'm not gonna read this verbatim, I'm not gonna read, like, every little thing that I ever wrote. So I'm not gonna read, like, really horrible triggering things. This isn't a video trying to trigger people. But I did write about self-harm, about fucking eating habits and eating disorders and weight. And a lot of it focused around, like, I'll be happy when I'm skinny one day. And it's going to be a ride. It's going to be an absolute ride. There's going to be a lot of triggering depression, self-harm, eating disorder type of content. Because it is very much the journal of an undiagnosed autistic girl that was not having a good time. I don't remember the last time I looked through these. I'm not entirely sure that I have, like, legitimately actually looked through them as an adult since I wrote them kind of thing. Let's just get right into it. So... I'll, I'll, some things I will show you, other things I won't. So I, I'm gonna show you some of this. I'm gonna show you the drawing I did and then read you the majority of the writing. Look at that. <laughs> I have a style. So, 24th of the 9th, 2012. Sometimes I feel like I have too many thoughts. It's like some of them belong to someone else and shouldn't be in my head. Sometimes I think I'm crazy, but if I really was, then I don't think I'd think that. I feel like I'm all filled off, ready and waiting for something that will never happen. I feel like if I don't get it all out, I'm going to explode. <laughs> oh shit, these were like cool ass ones that I did. So, they're already cool drawings. You've got like this creepy ass shit. What was this one? I know this was like movies that I'd seen. We'll get to that in a sec. I'll read you this entry over here first. So this was the 25th the day after the first one. It feels like there will never be enough time to do what I want to do. I want to paint and sing and act and write. I want to travel and be free. I'm going to Paris, France for school next month. It seems awful romantic and perfect, so I'm sure I'll be disappointed. When you wait for something and keep thinking about it, you tend to end up being disappointed. I'm annoyed that my two best and only friends again too. I can't be in school. I can't be me in school. I'm so locked in, trapped, the exact opposite of tree. M free. <laughs> My RE teacher told us a true story that she was told by a composer a few years ago. The composer was in Venice with his wife and she saw a picture in an art gallery and told him it was his music in paint. And they bought it and took it home and then years later they met the artist and he told the composer that he'd been listening to his music when he painted it. I find it fascinating that the human mind can turn one form of art into another. Some good friends I've got, they've got a bet on who can ignore me the longest. Fuck them. I often wrote in this while I was in school, so like little updates would be made through the day that I didn't like mark the time of or anything. So I'd spent like the earlier... Oh, it was I've annoyed my two best friends again, not that I was annoyed at them. So things would happen and then like I'd update myself through the day essentially. Yeah, and then over here we've written the films that I was into at the time, that's... 500 Days of Summer. The Art of Getting By, I don't remember that. The boat that rocked across the universe. Help the Beatles. Maybe this was my Beatles phase. Hard Day's Night. Hannah, The Knowing, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. We've got to show that in school. It wasn't my choice. Lord of the Rings. Black Swan. Sweeney Todd. The Magical Mystery Talk. Dark Shadows. Tim Burton. 66. F Fight Club and Fright Night. Mars Attacks, Juno, Wrist Cut as a Love Story, Nims at Highland, Ballet Shoes, that's the Emma Watson, what's the reason I cared, and Perks of Being a Wallflower. I really thought I had great movie taste at the time. Uh, as you can tell, it was my big Beatles phase, all the sayings give peace a chance. I was big into that in high school, I really thought I was like a full on hippie, essentially. I was like, yeah man, just like stop the war. Let me take you down, cause I'm going to... Like, I thought I was very deep. And honestly, some of it kind of is. But a lot of it's just... Someone discovering stuff about themselves and being an experimental little teenager while also being very depressed and not having fun. So, the 27th of the night, 
I've been accepted to Lipper Saturday School. That's good. When I tell people that I want to be a musician or actress, they always have that look on their face, telling me that it's just a dream not going to happen and they don't understand that it has to. I want it so much that it hurts. I want to stand on a stage and look out and see people singing the words to my songs and just live and really live. Because living isn't about a job or a house or friends or love or passion. It's about the amazement that life is made from living and reliving your life. Living is easy with eyes closed, misunderstanding all you see. I don't understand how people can be so cruel. Cruel to each other, cruel to animals. Our world is dying because of cruelty, greed, hatred, stupidity, and I hate it. I hate it with all of my being. Don't you see that our world is dying because of people cheating and lying? Love and peace are all they need. Instead, we have hate and greed. We need to make our choice. Don't you see that we all have a voice? We can call some revolution. The future will call it evolution. Now come forth to save the earth. Give it all that you're worth. You've heard about peace and love. You've heard about love and peace. Now all the hate and spite can cease. You know it's a good poem when you don't initially recognise that it is in fact a poem. And I'll give, I'll give that for a 15 year old writing in a journal, that wasn't awful. Like I'd absolutely cringe if I saw someone like post it in a TikTok or something, but like for a 15 year old, it ain't half bad. The 29th of the 9th, first day of Lippa, it's perfect. I was sat in the park like normal and two of the police walk around, two of the police walk around people walked in. People always moan about them so I was ready to leave but they were really nice and made me feel better. No they didn't, I remember this happening. I was sat on the swing set by my fucking house where I sat all the time as a teenager and those two like, we call them cardboard cutouts around here. The ones that aren't like real cops, they, they just wander around, they're like community support officers and they were proper like, oh what have you been up to? So I told them like, today was my first day at Lipper, I'm doing Saturday school and I'm going to be an actress or a singer and they were like, oh what, like like Adele? And I was like, yeah, yeah, like Adele and like Amy Winehouse and all these other people and they like looked at each other because I'd listed like a load of drug addicts and people and it's like, I'm sorry but a lot of musicians are, fight me. Also though, I mean I just read you, like, I don't know why I'm covering it up. Can you say 15 year old gay girl without saying 15 year old gay girl? 29th of the 9th, 2012, continued. Also got a kitten yesterday, black with tiny white smudge under the chin and little white line on the chest. We've named her Jude. Doctor Who series seven is over. Rory and Amy are dead. No more Doctor Who till Christmas. Here's the label from the bottle of Dr Pepper that I drank while watching Doctor Who series seven, episode five, The Angels of Manhattan. That's kind of cool. That's the label from the Dr Pepper that I drank while watching series 7 episode 5 Angels Take Manhattan. Oh, I forgot that I was a Dr Pepper bitch in high school. I really like, I, only Pepsi now, but I love Dr Pepper. Oh, I was so proud of this. I thought this was like the sickest thing that anyone had ever fucking done. Because I could only like draw like a thing and the fact that it was like a full picture with a background and everything, I was like, I'm a fucking genius. 30th of September 2012, which is my brother's birthday. Oh fuck, it's another fucking poem again. Don't open your mouth, don't say a word. They don't care, haven't you heard? Politicians and governments all the same, wasting the world playing a game. It's time they all make a change, walk into the unknown, I'm the strange. All of us have a voice, it should be an easy choice. Be the change you want to see, just your help could be the key. Just your choice could save us all, save us all from the fall. Okay, so because I haven't like had a journal like for a long time before this one, definitely not one that I absolutely like, regularly kept up of, that's a throwback to uh, my birthday in 2011, which would have been my 15th birthday. 14th birthday, thanks for writing that in the card, eh? So yeah, that was the birthday that I'd sat, spent in the flat, Doctor Who cake, mum did it. There was a party and a guy came over. <sighs> Birthday card from my fucking oldest brother as well. And apparently this picture fascinated me. Here's a fun little picture I'll give. All the little stickers that are in this were uh, ones that I got while I was in France with the school as well. 1st of October 2012. It's really feeling like autumn now. The leaves are changing. It's getting colder. And it's constantly raining. Can't wait for Christmas. And then just this weird ass drawing. 2nd of October 2012. Um, I, I don't know if I should say his name, a, a lad in my physics class drew this thing that I'll show you in a sec. 
I got his birthday down and everything, but yeah, he did that and he signed it for if he ever got famous. Like every now and again, like that's the thing is like a lot of people in school did just ignore me. I just didn't, like we just didn't interact a lot of the time. Like there were a few people that really picked on me and hated me, but most people just didn't have anything to do with me. And it really confused me when I'd have like nice moments like that where like you'd draw a thing and then be like, oh, stick it in your book that you're always writing in. And it was like a genuinely nice moment with someone. And I'd be like, so why are we not friends? Like, so the 3rd of the 10th, 2012, I'd written that my best friend was back from holiday and I'd missed her a lot. And she wrote in it saying that she missed me too. Oh, just, it's just, just a whole little conversation in there with the girl that was my best friend at the time. The 5th of the 10th, I stole a friend's to-do list to stick in here. I'll cover her name even though she's changed it now because she's gotten married. But yeah, it's quite a cute little drawing that someone did at her school in 2012 which is so weird the 8th of the 10th we're getting rid of jude she makes too much noise toilets in the house scratches bites isn't affectionate so mum says we have to find a new home for her and hopefully get a real kitten instead i feel so much pressure my last year of school i'm scared school college uni what if i'm not good enough what if i can't handle it all baby oh, you couldn't hon we didn't get rid of jude as far as i'm aware my mother still has her um 9th of the 10th Today is John Lennon's birthday. He would have been 72. My best friend isn't in school. Oh, she isn't answering Facebook messages. I'm scared that she's made an attempt. What if she really has? I know I'm not her, her best friend, but she's mine. I told one of my other friends what I was worried about and she had said she can just ruin her own life. And I was just freaking out and being like, oh my God, do you not understand anything? I don't feel like that's talked about though. Like I had so many times in high school that like I had to be the thing to stop a friend from killing themselves. And it was kind of fucking traumatic. More John Lennon quotes written out in a fancy, it's not fancy, I tried. Another one that's drawn by a friend. I put everyone's full names in here. And on the one hand, it's kind of a good thing because I don't remember a lot of these people honestly that well. <laughs> tenth of the tenth. My best friend was back, she's fine. I'm currently obsessed with Dear Prudence, by the Beatles, obviously. The Beatles. I love them so much, no one will ever believe it. Their music, their personalities, they make me so happy. It was such an obvious hype, like, special interest and hyperfixation. I was so into them, and I don't get how that wasn't in some way picked up on. Because, like, a lot of the times when we talk about special interest in, in AFAB people and women, we, it's in the way of like, oh, but it was hard to notice because it was seen as like socially normal. And it's like, I know that a lot of girls get obsessed with the Beatles. Not that many girls in 2012 were getting obsessed with the Beatles, you know? 12th of the 10th. You do one thing wrong and everyone's on your back as if life isn't hard enough already. My friends go off to, together ditching me to talk. I don't care. Seems like you do a bit, hon. It really, really does seem like you do a bit. Oh god, not when I started getting into Pink Floyd. Not that time. Just constant fucking... I was just so bored. Like, this isn't even like... I was going to be like, oh my god, I was just constantly creating. And it's like, yeah, because I was bored all the time. I had nothing else to do. This is just the shit that I was doing in school. So I've skipped a lot of dark things on other pages. But here we have it. I'm thinking I might just give up music. It's all I've ever wanted. And it's half what I think about. But where's it gonna go? do a BTEC, get an A-level, get a degree, then what? I'm not good enough. I don't see the point of being here anymore. I don't want to live, but I don't want to die. And that's not quite how it works, is it? But in the end, I just don't want to be around. And then we've got a page of like, I want to make a difference. I want to change the world. I want to be happy. I want a best friend. I want to stop hurting. I want to be strong. I want to be remembered. I want to be someone. I want to help people. I want to see true beauty. I want to get somewhere, so on and so forth. Very dramatic. Constant dramatics from 15 year old me. Like Christ, hon. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? It's insane to me how little of this I remember like actually doing, honestly. I thought I remembered like a lot of it and I really do not. And it's, ooh. Why are we all obsessed with you go Gwen Coco? It's written throughout this, another drawing by, this girl like actively picked on me. Like this girl was actively horrible to me multiple times and then drew that in my little notebook and things like that were very confusing and weird to me. I'd, I'd done some sort of bucket list here and I think it was for France and I've painted it out and none of it matters anymore. Something about the top of the Eiffel Tower. First we've got a little while my guitar gently weeps bit because George but there's a little like is it a poem? There's something I've written here that's she doesn't know she doesn't see she is perfect to me the way she looks the way she talks 
the way she looks, the way she walks, the way she laughs, the way she talks. Because I was quite, quite heavily in love with my best friend that was like doing this kind of shit in the book. So on the 24th of the 10th, I started this with the quote from the Beatles. I used to get mad at my school and the teachers had taught me went cool, they're holding me down, turning me around, filling me up with the rules. And also, we don't need no education, we don't need no false control. I thought I was so fucking deep, opening a journal entry with quotes from the Beatles and Pink Floyd. <laughs> Apparently, you can't beat the school system. The school system will always win. More lies, more false truths being ejected from a tr truth men's mouth. I'm not the only one that needs to make things right. I do my work. I'm not usually rude. Chavichki insulted my parents. She doesn't know them and she's giving a transcript of what my parents said. They do not have a bad attitude. If anyone has a bad attitude, it's her and this school. That's, I've talked about that before. That was when like one of the teachers, Miss Chavichki, said that my dad had a bad attitude and she could see why I was so insolent. And I just like screamed at her for a long while. Um, not the drawing, not particularly good. Oh, there's some pages stuck together. Okay. Oh my God, it still smells. So on the first day that I was going to France with the school, we got these little Gucci perfume cards on the ferry. That's how we do it on the, that's how we do it on the swamp. Does anyone remember Graveyard Girl? Fucking, she goes by Banana Peppers here on, on YouTube now. I was obsessed with her back in the day. I'd gotten a little alligator stick and I was like, that's how we do it on the swamp. So yeah, that's that. Um, 30th of the 10th, back from Paris slash France, we walked to the middle of the Eiffel Tower. As it turns out, Amy is a bitch, really can't be arsed anymore. 31st of the 10th, I was trying to learn Elvish. Okay, so it's my best friend that I was in love with, so I'm gonna do my best to cover her, but the fucking Dan and Phil era. Oh, 7th of the 11th, 2012. My nails look so nice with the little stars. This person will never know how much I love her. Can't believe how quickly this other person's changed. One day she's your best friend and the next she hates you. I don't need people like that anymore. Honey, you're going to continue doing that for the next 10 years. <laughs> but yeah, my best friend at the time that I was like entirely in love with had done my false nails. I've never ever wanted false nails. I didn't particularly enjoy having them, but I'd look at them and be like, oh my God, they're so pretty and she did them for me. And it was definitely nothing to her. I say that. But then there's this whole page that she did where she like learned to write an Elvis just to like do a little thing for me to stick in my book and like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. No, I really do. Cool little drawing. Then we made our own code up. I am not going to decipher that, but we did do some writing in that. That's, that's quite fun actually. All sorts going on here. Just continuing with that fucking Beatles obsession to the point that I was completely happy to just write their names out like I was doing lines. Fucking Barry! We, we got given a woodlouse in a physics class and we called it Barry and we got like quite a... I got very attached to her. I don't know if she was like playing along or what. I blacked this out. This has been censored like something from the American government. But it's literally me talking about how I had gone into town and stolen a pack of razor blades from a shop and I was going to cut myself a lot. And then I'd planned out how few calories I was going to eat each and every day. And it was very, very awful. Obviously I had something stuck in here and then tore it out and was like, everything gets ripped apart. But I, I don't remember what it was. Oh my God, it was Barry Neal. It was, oh, there's no date, but this was the 46th page of my book. And my friend had written, Dear Dana, I'm so sorry I had to leave you on Friday. I had to go back to the Terminator's garden where my control freak, where my control freak psychopath wife was waiting with my fat little woodlouse children. I would come back to your shitty science class, but I'm a woodlouse and I haven't the capability to influence my own life. I am a woodlouse. At least I have a home now. Thank you. Love from Barry Neal. I'm not entirely sure what's happening there. A lot of this would like really be Difficult to decipher. I don't know why there's a burn. Shit, I just set a page on fire at some point. What the fuck? Like, my friend's written this whole thing in the... F I... Like, now that I've seen it, I very vaguely remember, like, creating this code. I don't remember writing in it, like, anywhere, like, at all. Never mind this much. Right, so I fell out with that friend and every other friend that I had. And I remember going home and writing this, just... Our home protects me. No Sherlock. Friends protect you and be like, I need to get my friends back. What happened to us? We live in a jar and think the lid is a sky.
why who knows i've just realized i didn't look at the other page you might have just seen it <laughs> if the world ends on the 21st i hope they show the doctor who christmas special in hell i don't know if i want to read you this poem like the rest of them have been bad but take me away learn to save me make it better take the pain make me real make me feel make a deal break the seal i don't understand how this can all be real how everything has happened this fast i want to go back to living in books and films and playing make-believe i don't want everything to change i want to go back to being a kid i want my innocence back make it go away make it go away please get rid of it make it go away i want help but i don't want help i just want to go away i don't remember this i don't know what that was about just rip out my heart i'm not gonna miss it it's broken anyway all right hon first of the first 2013 you, 2013 was like the, 2013 was definitely amongst the worst years of my life okay i'm done finished i don't want friends i want alone alone is protected if it's just me i don't have to be wrong about someone else's scars or emotions I don't fully remember what had happened here actually. I remember, I, I think this was the Christmas that I'd bought like four or five girls in my class presents because I thought they were my friends. And even like the girls that were like my best friends that were writing in here hadn't gotten me anything. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what was going on, but I'm gonna read it now that I've read it and know what it says. So I'm done, finished. I don't want friends. I want alone. Alone is protected. If it's just me, I don't have to be wrong about someone else's scars or emotions or eating habits. I love her and it's best for her, just like it was best for Sherlock to leave John. At least I'm not faking my own death. I'm sick of trying. I'm always the first to text and half the time she doesn't answer. So why try when she doesn't? I'm just the freak and she's better off without me. This is for her and she may not get it now, but eventually she will. I'm leaving properly in a few months, so why bother with friends? I've said it before and stayed with them, but this time it really is for the best. I'm annoying and too clingy and they don't need me. Baby. At the time, I was just like, well, this is how it is. But, like, looking back on, like, a little 15-year-old writing in and being like, I'm annoying and I'm clingy and that's why no one ever liked me anyway. So I'm best off just being on my own. Like, it's so fucking sad. So first we've got, if I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true? Because, like, I just kept quoting the Beatles. And then we've got, I, I stopped dating, I, I, I don't know what was going on with me at this point. I stopped dating things. I, my handwriting, like, I know that it's still my handwriting, but it's. I'm taking off like four fucking lines to write instead of just the one. Like, I don't know what was going on with me here. So I'd put, I need to do something, something big and free and real in all caps. Nothing's real anymore. Like, we're all already dead and trapped in our wooden coffins without light or air, with the darkness in, in casing and caressing us, and we are alive. Um, weird little character I tried to create. I decide I'm finished, and then she texts me. I love her, that's why I have to do this. It makes everything better for everyone. Maybe I'll see her properly one last time, say goodbye, but then maybe it'll hurt too much. I don't know. I thought I was flying, but I was falling. People lie, it doesn't get better, just gets longer. You have high school and then spend the rest of your life trying to get over it. School, college, university, job, die. Baby, we did not make it to university. You're making such an assumption that life is only going to suck once we're out of formal education. I was out somewhere, I think, and, and had to write it on a piece of paper to stick into my journal. So we've got, alone is protected. Friends don't protect you, you protect them. You protect them and look after them and give them everything you have and get nothing back. Therefore, alone is protected. You don't find friends like the ones in stories. No one like them exists. The friends you get are just normal, boring people that do normal, boring things in their boring, normal lives. Alone keeps you protected. No one can say or do anything to, to hurt you. You don't have to worry about the consequences of your actions. You just live. Friends only upset or disappoint you. We gave up on, on dating anything and using the actual book. Oh, we've got another fucking poem now. I awake cold. Morning air singing me awake. Goosebumps prickle on pale skin. Nostalgia tapes the view. It's bright. Everything is bright, but also cloudy. A haze in front of eyes. No one understands, especially not me. It's magic, it's life. 
you know, the, the thing of just like everything's so bright. <laughs> Bitch, I know. It's the autism. Oh Christ, the fault in our stars. I like Hazel. She just sees it as it is. She doesn't try to sugarcoat or romanticise anything. She's just an ordinary girl that bad things have happened to and she just accepts that. She doesn't moan about it or wallow in self-pity. She just carries on doing what she can. Considering the fact that she's written by a man, she is very realistic. I almost wish she were real. I'm not very far in yet, but in what I've read, there's a dark comedy and slight bitterness about Hazel. She always believed in true love. Two people seeing each other across a crowded room. High school sweethearts. Hearts. Disasters pushing them together. I don't care how it happens. I just want it to happen. Some man leaving a note in your book at a coffee shop when you get up for another latte. A man helping you up when you slip on ice and doing it for the rest of your lives. Growing old together with him still saying you're beautiful. Putting a lock on a bridge and throwing the key into the water. Dancing when there's no music playing. Sitting together and just reading. Love hurts, but maybe if you find the right kind of love, it turns out to be the right kind of pain. I haven't been in any sort of relationship at this point, right in that. And it, oh, it makes me so sad because like, this is the first time that I've been single. This is the like longest, this is the only gap I've had between relationships since I was like this age, like literally this year now like we've moved on to 2013 this is the year that i'll meet my horrible abusive ex and get with him this is the first time i've been single since reading this and it's so weird to me that i was like i was so desperate for just anybody to act like they cared about me you know like i wasn't getting it from my parents my friends quite clearly didn't enjoy me like my company or whatever and didn't really want to be my friends and it was this like total desperation for just like there's got to be somewhere, someone out there that will like me. Like, please. And it's also so weird to me that, like, it's so compulsory heteronormative when, like, earlier in the book, I'm, like, writing, like, I love my best friend, like, too much, like, too much, you know? Like, I was definitely... I was out by this point. I mean, it was still such a heteronormative view of, like, I'm going to end up with a man now. Like, I might be attracted to women and, like, have some fun with women, but, like, I'll end up with a man absolute peak 2013 fucking our fault in our stars review in silver gel pen and a page of badly drawn eyes oh i had this phase of like intentionally drawing kind of ugly people and i really loved it and i don't get why i can't draw like that anymore i was right the first time alone is protected and friends just hurt you you do what you think is best for them and they tell you that you've that you're lying you'd do anything for her and she doesn't care anymore so nor do i I'll never know anything for sure. No one will. And that's okay. I'm okay. I just need to be happy. It's easy. This is the end of this book, but it carries on. I really tried to give a positive spin when, like, there's, like, like eight pages back, there's a bit of blacked out because I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. Like, bitch. Literally the page before, I'm like, there's no point meeting anyone. There's no point forming friendships. And, like, I am definitely in love with my best friend, don't get me wrong, but, like, I don't need her. Like, but hey, this is the end of the book, but it carries on. So yeah, that's that's the first journal that I ever regularly kept. I've, I've got several now, I've got many. So if you enjoyed this video, please do let me know and we can do this some more with more recent things, the rest of 2013. That's where you get all the stuff of me meeting my ex. So, oh my God, I've been filming for like nearly an hour. So this bit's gonna have to be quick. You can make the cat slip and dig his claws into your knee you can donate me money on patreon and ko-fi and also by becoming a youtube member that helps me to have money but if you haven't got money like me that's fine and you can like and subscribe i'd love that i love it if you like the videos and then subscribe to my youtube channel that's the thing that i enjoy the most you can also follow me on tiktok and instagram and for now twitter um yeah so that's the video that's that was kind of exhausting. <laughs> like, I feel like that just screams the autistic girl though, and she was just left to it. And I know it was me, but I I, I kind of had to put some distance because that was actually kind of really weird. Like, I didn't remember so much of that. So yeah, whoever you are, wherever you are, hope you're having a lovely morning, evening, day, afternoon, week, of year, and I'll see you again in a couple of days. I don't like the way my voice sounded on the days bit, but I've done it now and I don't want to change it, so I'm leaving it in, but I apologize.